So we have the brand new Archon Quest trailer, or just the 3.1 trailer in general. It's called King Desert and the Three Magi. Now, when I was watching the live stream, it was buffering for me. It was all blurry. Like I only saw the last like 20 seconds of the trailer. So this is me actually seeing the trailer fully for the first time because I only saw like the very tail end of it. So, and it's six minutes long too. So let's actually watch it this time and see what really happened. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Yeah. Why Scorpions? is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? What even is that? It was only after I grew up that I realized it serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Oh my We've God. A long time for this day to come. Like, look at that. Fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. Who's speaking here? And why did Dia say- Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only oh, result Candace. in war. And war serves no one. Looks so good. A shield is not enough to protect the most important thing. Oh, look at that shot. That's why I must also wield a spear. Mm. They got to. Were they like new air my enemies too? That one had like a bow. Oh, she throws a spear at him. What the heck? Grant us your blessing. Oh, she is too good. Do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. That was him speaking. Try something foolish, and even Candace won't be able to protect you. <laughs> Damn. You know you messed up if Candace won't protect you. You really messed up. It's just summon a crocodile? Alligator? Oh my god, look at Sino's animations. Up and let voices be heard. I feel like she should have came out first. Huh. Look at everybody's just like fighting for their life, and Nilu's just like dancing, <laughs> just fighting one mushroom. All lies on me. Ooh. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Feelings of desperation are widespread. But for Traders that long, though? Followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Oh, I hear that guitar riff. So Dia abandoned the Scarlet King? Like she's a traitor? Whoa. That's like the an Earth Drake and a flying Drake. If the sages share any information about their project with you, why? Labor, livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Why are they fighting? <laughs> My experience. Oh, we did see this part. Success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back. Bro, their I can't believe he's in the game. Like what? And then this, like, <laughs> like what in the world? <laughs> Like, holy crap. There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. <laughs> Your era is coming to God. an end. Like, this trailer is so hype, man. This might be one of the best patches. Like, two Harbingers. Two. I oh. am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. I will now be <laughs> reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. It does not sound too confident. Does this mean the there, Mika. Knew Razor's parents? And then the yeah, Razor parent lore, like that's fill up the barrels and store them away. Then Fiona, her dad. Wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. That razor <laughs> smile. <laughs> Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the animal archon. What a, what a change of feel. Like that first half compared to that half, like completely different. Then you have the events. 
You have to like hunt for the uh, the boars, the brews. You have the the duo event that we had before a rerun. Wind chaser. And uh, slightly kind of like a new one for Sumeru. But we also got new weapons. No new artifacts this time. And yeah, more weapons as well. But so without further ado, let's go back and break down this trailer a little bit. So apparently... Cause like Dia is like a mercenary, but she's also considered like an Eremite. But it seems that they despise her because she's like a traitor of the Scarlet King. And it's like both sides, the desert and the rainforest. It's like they cannot let the fact that their older gods died. And it's just like, bro, like, I mean, I, I get it. You know, you're mourning, but it's like it's been 500 years, at least for Ruka Devada. It's been 500 years. I don't know how long it's been since the Desert King died, but it's like they died so long ago and you're still keeping up this like this ritual and this whole like it's like they have a, an attitude about people who don't appreciate the the old god, you know? So Candace looks freaking amazing. I'm not sure, they explain she does like hydro infusion and she has the, the shield. The enemies look so good. So right here. He says you betrayed. betrayed our own village. Yeah. Don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. So he betrayed. So that was Sino talking, though. So going back to the Dore, right? My experiment His experiment is success. apparently is what, what kind of already happened a little bit. Where if you play the Archon Quest, where it was, by the way, um, you know, the Akasha was kind of like pretty much like taking people's dreams away from them. Like it pretty much like kind of like almost controlling them in a way, you know, but like in the Archon Quest, we were just kind of locked within a dream. So we were like, you know, we were repeating the same thing over and over again. But in this scenario, I think the Tori actually is full on. Like he has like actual mind control of all these people. They can no longer hold back. Their you see everybody's just like, you know, woo, like just freaking losing their minds. Even the kids, the Tori. The kids, holy crap! He has no heart. He's controlling that. He's controlling everybody here. At least that's what I think. Everybody who has the Akasha terminal on, so everybody is on his side because he's controlling them via the Akasha system. And then at the same time, in the next scene, rich. even the old lady. And then this here is happening too. I'm not sure if he's controlling them as well, and that's why uh, Catherine gets freaking stabbed to death. But. I don't see the Akasha system on them, but they look like they are, I mean, definitely from the rainforest. This looks like the place, I forget the name of it, but it's it's in, it's in the uh, rainforest. But apparently Catherine's a puppet, so I don't feel that bad, I guess, but I don't know what to think. So, you know, like, I mean, and then I don't know what is Scaramouche's involvement in this. What are you, what is he trying to do? He's just trying to get more no see, no <laughs> There is no need. And then apparently that's gonna be like the freaking that that looks like he's gonna be the boss. I don't think the Tori is the boss for this for this patch. I think Scaramouche is the boss for this patch because holy hell, that looks like a giant like riding Shogun type of thing. I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to Scaramouche, I just feel like. He looks like he's just like a he's a baby, you know, like he's just like Raiden's little son, you know, the pain will be like, I don't really feel intimidated by Scaramouche your era because that's pretty much his story is that he like Raiden was like, I'm not going to harm you. I'm going to have you go live your own life. Um, and essentially, that's what he did. He, he took the wrong route in life and now he's this. But he just looks like a runaway kid who just took the, a bad route in life. Like, He's coming I don't know. <laughs> but either way, man, freaking insanely hyped trailer. Probably going to be one of the best patches. Um, and of course, Razor at the end with his parents, uh, you know, and just the whole Mindset Festival. And apparently Venti and Albedo are on the banner. Um, so that's going to be interesting, but can't wait. I'll definitely be checking this out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well and my reaction to it. And I have more videos coming out as well. We're going to talk about the anime and everything like that as well. Um, and I'll try and get some clips from my live stream reaction out as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will catch you guys in the next one.